Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Now let's have a look over this side. We've got the plowed land is busy being taken up. Lime. I need lime around the outside edge of that one. And we've obviously got to finish liming this field here. This one's going to take us a minute or two. And fertilizer on that one is even right the way through so I I'm thinking not put lime on that one this year I'm thinking we'll leave that one until the center part requires lime as well although I don't I don't know about that I'll have to, I'll have to think about that um the thing we're doing the lime is yeah, you're all right there. Okay, that's going to turn around. It should cover all of that other bit. Thing with the lime is we we don't lose a huge chunk of our income, do we? Well, I know we lose some, but we don't lose like tons and tons of our income. And it does actually say in here, you've got crops, basic plowing, advanced knowledge down here. Buying fields, animals, forestry, production, recap. There we go. Lime and herbicide. Lime can be bought in pallets. Herbicide can be bought in pallets. Well, that's not much of a recap, is it? What's that going to do? Making money. Selling your produce. Shop. Buying equipment. Miscellaneous. Seasons there. We don't want seasons. Um. Ah, there we go. Improving yield. This is the one. To obtain a 65% yield bonus, you must spread fertilizer twice, which gives you plus 25% each time. So fertilizer is the single biggest increase for anything. Spreading lime gives you a 15% increase. So we will lose 15% on the outside edges of field 4 if we don't go and spread lime on it. Uh, to avoid a 35% yield malice, you must remove the bad weeds or you will lose 20%. And to plough after corn, potato, sugar beet and sugar cane. So we will probably do a root crop harvest at some point, especially if we're having pigs. Um, corn is something we're going to be doing anyway. So we'll lose 15% on that and the lime is 15%. And then weeds, obviously, we'll, we'll, be, we'll definitely be doing weeds. Weeds is something that we're going to be doing anyway. All right, you're going to come up through there. So, 15%. Is it going to be worth our time and effort taking care of the lime over on the edge of field four? Curious about this. I am curious. I'm thinking that probably it would be worth our time and effort to go and do that. I'm thinking that might be something that we should seriously consider. Going and getting the lime from over there. Now, we can carry 19,000 litres of lime in this spreader that we've got right here. And this spreader that we've got right here... Which one did I end up going for in the end? I can't remember at the moment. Right, we go to my owned items over here. And I did end up getting the Stevie spreader. Doesn't have an extra capacity. It just has an increased speed. So we are, in fact, liming faster than we normally would because I have opted for the Stevie version this time round at 27 kilometers an hour, which I know is quite high. I'm not planning to use too many Stevie mods because I... A lot of people have said that you don't really want Stevie mods on this map. Some of you said you don't really mind, but a lot of you have said you'd rather I did it with more standard machines than using Stevie mods. So, yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I will do that. Now, uh, I see what you've done. You've just tried to turn on a little bit too much of a hill over here, and it ended up being just too much for you to cope with. I will bring you back over this side. And then I will back you up. All the way back down here like this. Something like that. There. And then I will press H on there. And I will let you carry on. You will go and do what you're going to do. I've got 300,000 euros. I... 
Oh, I know. We have got some grain here. So we could go and we could buy some chickens. The thing with animals in seasons, that's another thing that I want to look at. Because I haven't got any horses yet. And horses, I'm supposed to have horses so that I can put your names into the game for us. So we need to have a look at that. Animals livery stable. Horses can be brought to a livery stable at the farm. You can care for horses by feeding and riding and cleaning them. Each day you get paid by the owner of the horse an amount depending on the care given. Not every horse is as easy to care for. Now we've got the mod that uh, the, the groom one so we don't need to ride the horses. The, the groom mod should be able to remove that bit. Animal production. Cows need to have calves before producing milk. Female chickens produce eggs when a rooster is near and interested the hen might brood on her eggs instead, creating offspring. Right. That's interesting. We'll have to have a look at that. Maybe we could get some chickens because we do have um the well, we we do have the right amount of stuff for um chickens. Right, we've we got the grain for it. Animals are changing a more realistic system. There are breeds, each with their own properties. Female animals can reproduce or produce, while male animals are mainly for fattening and selling. Food and water consumption for an animal is based on their age and weight and on the temperature. When it is warm in summer, an animal requires less straw but more water. In the winter, when it freezes, it requires more straw but less, wind, uh, less water. The maximum feeding capacity is reduced to two days. This means you need to feed your animals every day. Animals die when not fed or given water. Right. We will have to remember that bit. So, I can't do anything about most of the animals at the moment because we don't have any grass that we can go and cut and we can give them. There's nothing available at the moment. If we go and take a look at the map right here and I go through to fruit types and I select grass like that and then I go to growth, you can see here it's all in green. We can't go and mow it. We've got planted over there, and then this lot here is grown. We've got that little tiny bit there of grass that's planted as well. So there's nothing that I can do about that. Uh, I want to go over to you. I got three and a half thousand liters of lime left at the moment. You can... Yeah, you, you can stay working for a second. Let's just jump down here, and we will clean off Challenger. We are going to be able to have some chickens. We could have a few chickens on the map. We could get them going. We could get them, like, it, and also horses. Oh, wait, no. Horses, they require... Well, you don't have to give the animals bedding, though, do you? Right, let's go. Let's go and put this one away. Where are we going to park? We'll stick this one in the shed next to the case over there. This one can park up. So chickens I can do. I can bring the chickens out. They, they can get going. We can have chickens and there won't be any issues with those whatsoever. Uh, horses. Don't think I can do those yet. I can feed them oats, but I can't give them anything else. I don't have any hay that I can give to them. Um, so bring you down there like that. So we can buy, we know that we can buy those. Pigs as well I can buy. I've actually got all the stuff I need to feed the pigs as well. Right, I can go and get these. Yorkshire female, Gloucester, is one year old, 828 euros. Known as the mother breed, this breed of pig is very fast growing animal. It requires a high amount of capital for the initial purchase. Gloucester old spot. Slower growing, but is much cheaper to purchase initially. Very hardy and great for the starting farmer. Spotted. Known for their carcass quality, the spotted grows relatively fast and can be purchased for a modest amount. And then you've got the Berkshire. The Berkshire is a fast growing animal that requires a modest amount of capital to purchase. It is known for a flavourful meat. I used to, personally, I used to keep a large black. And we'd have the piglets off of that one. Um... And that was quite a nice tasty meat as well. Uh, hmm. Wondering what we should go for. So we've got males here for fattening up. These two here. And then we've got females here. The, uh, the, um, we've got the, the spotted. The Gloucester old spot is the male. And then you've got the Yorkshire up here, which actually looks suspiciously similar to a large white. Um... 
I'm thinking that we'll go with the spotted. No, uh, these are cheaper. We could go with that one. Right, that's the animal dealer right there. And then if I... Well, that's not going to give me anything if I press R on there. If I go to here, 4,300 to install a new pipeline to allow direct filling of the water trough. Yes, absolutely. We will go and get that one installed. So if you look back here, tomorrow morning we will have stuff around here where they start doing um, loading everything up. And then, what is this? I don't know what that box is. And then that one's slurry, and then you've got straw in there. I'm assuming that this box is the straw. That there is water. And then that one there is the food trough. And then over here is where you purchase the animals themselves. So we can purchase them from here. Is there an actual animal breeder on this map? It's the next thing to look for. Do we have an animal breeder? Are we going to want to be running these? Yes, there is. There is an animal dealer over there. Let's go and visit that one, and we will see what we've got in here. Animal pens. Large pig enclosure. Cattle. Large chicken coop. Sheep pasture. Right, so you come over to this one, to the animal dealer, and the first thing it does is it asks you where you want to put stuff. So let's just go here with large pig enclosure start. That's exactly the same, but yeah. If I take that one, it's a one hundred euro fee. Oh, no, that's that's added on on top of the price. That's on top of the price right there. So we've got to pay an additional one hundred euros on top of the amount that we pay for that one. So then you over here, you're two hundred and twelve, and there's an additional one hundred euros. So if we want twenty pigs. That's going to be 2,000, um, yeah, 2,000 euros. 20 pigs would be 2,000 euros. I'm wanting, like, 150 pigs, yeah? That's going to be 15,000 euros for 150 pigs. 200, 20,000. Pretty straightforward, simple maths. And so let's go and have a look under animals right here. And what have we got? not in animals okay so we're, oh animal it help if we went to the right one two horses in there nine pigs at one time it's twenty four thousand to buy that one we've got the silver star over here now i don't have a truck yet and a truck is definitely something that we're gonna want so that one there takes 84 pigs that one takes 18 pigs. That's, that's quite a big trailer. We've got the livestock there that goes on the back of the transport. That takes 5 pigs. There's a little one there that takes 12 pigs. Uh, this one is 36 pigs. And that one is 21 pigs. Uh, but 67,500. That one over there is 84 pigs. And this one is 36. So the Stevie one obviously takes a huge amount more. Now if I look in there for the Silver Star one. 4,000 would be the equivalent of buying 40 pigs. Now, if I want to buy 200 pigs, that's going to cost me 20 grand. It would actually be worth using a large trailer like this to go backwards and forwards a couple times. All right? It would be worth it then. We wouldn't have to pay the fees on it, especially if we are getting those pigs and we're selling them after we've bought them as well. So... That would, that's something that we want to take into consideration. Then also, I want to go, we want to have a look in the horse paddock over here. So the Andalasian right there doesn't cost anything. Oh, it's a 300 euro fee to have the thing delivered. Really? 300 euros? 600 to, to have them delivered right there. And then we get paid money on a daily basis. Or the horses. The only horse transport we've got, I think, is that one there. That takes two horses. That doesn't... You don't take... See, you don't carry horses in these types of vehicles. They're not meant for horses. So we can only move horses two at a time in that one. I don't really want to do that. I'm not particularly interested in moving a load of horses. So I'm thinking that if we get horses, we would just leave them as they are. Horses, they're going to cost money. They are going to cost... 
a little bit to get over there. And then we're going to need the hay in that. And we don't have hay yet. So we can't get the hay. Uh, we can't do that. I could get these. We don't have any straw. But they'll produce slurry when they don't have any straw. So we can do it without straw. And we've got grain. So we could get some pigs. But we've, we've got to get the, the stuff to go with it. Cattle and sheep we can't. But chickens is another one that we could go for. So we've got white leghorns. They're the females. We've got Cornish Cross right here. Extremely fast growing as fast turnaround in profit. It requires a lot of feed. Rhode Island Reds. I like these. I used to keep Rhode Island Reds. And for that reason, I'm probably going to get Rhode Island Reds. I really, I just like the look of the chickens. They're actually a deeper red than that. And they, they look fantastic. Like, whenever you think of a traditional farm chicken and rooster running around you you got this perfect deep reddish brown cockerel with the big red wattles on it and then um the chicken as well is a beautiful deep dark reddish brown it look it they, they look fantastic they really do they, they look amazing um so that one um, I'll probably go with that one. And then we've got a rooster over here. Now, you've got one rooster. This male bird's primarily used for reproduction will work to fertilize eggs produced by a chicken to produce chicks. No, you do not need a rooster pro to produce eggs. Yes, well, it's fairly straightforward. Um, it requires an amount of feed in between that of its laying and meat counterparts. This one does eggs and meat. The Cornish Cross is for meat. And you only get males for those. The white leghorn is the egg choice. And this one, so yeah, this, this one does both. So I'm thinking that we go for some Rhode Island Reds. And we get a rooster as well. I don't know how many roosters we would need to get. But we'll, we'll have to have a look at that. So there's 16 euros to get that one delivered. And then I also want to do this one here. I don't think I've got... I, there is a mod that allows you to move more of these over. And... Oh, hang on a minute. No, what do you do? You, um, press there. Press and hold, and it automatically moves them over like that. You just keep pressing and holding. Scans up through them like this. I'm going to go until we've got 200 chickens. I think 200 chickens would be a good start. So we've got that one rooster there, and then if we go for 200 chickens, it's not a huge amount of money, is it? There, and exactly 200 chickens. There, so there's 199 Rhode Island Reds and one rooster. I don't know how many we really need in the way of roosters, but I'm hoping that that will be fine. Confirm. There. So I've now gone and spent a little bit of money on some new livestock. Help E has completed the task, so we will skip over and have a look at some of these... Um, Vehicles that are, are busy working in the field. So I've got New Holland over here. You're empty. I didn't notice that one had emptied, but I suppose I should have done because he was fairly low anyway. Now, do I have a lime station back at the farm? It's the next thing. Hang on, let me get rid of the grass bit because it gets a bit overpowering, doesn't it? Um, farm silo. Is a lime station. At oh, hang on. No, I think that I. Do you think that the stuff back at the farm does allow for lime? Think that it does. So we'll run back to the farm a minute. And we'll see if we can get lime on there. If we can, absolutely brilliant and fantastic. If we can't, then we'll have to run over to the shop and get some lime. Because I'm not going to buy the placeable now. I would like to get a truck. And I would like to lease a trailer so that I can haul the... Um, animals back and forth that we want to get. But I can't get... Actually, pigs. We we could get pigs. But we can't get very many pigs because we don't have very much in the way of grain. So, honestly, I don't think it'd be a good idea to get the pigs yet. I think we should wait before we go buying pigs. And then we've, you know, we're, we're going to need to get quite a bit of grain ready for... Oh, wait a minute. You know, I'm busy talking about getting all the pigs. I've I'm going to need water. Yes, local plumber will arrive at 6 and it will take 10 hours to install. The problem with this is that it won't start until tomorrow morning. And then it'll be the following day. So I'm going to need to go and lease a water bowser. 
and bring that over and just top the chickens up with water to start with. And then after I've done that, then we can deal with um, the other bits. Now, seed and I think lime is in here. So let's back this one up. And we should be able to load lime in here. Open that one up. Yes, we can indeed load some lime into there. So that one can load there a minute. And while it's loading, I'm going to go over to you. I see what you've done. I see what you've done. And actually, that's fine. It's going to work out quite nicely. I'm just going to bring you over to here. And I'm going to press H. And you're going to carry on and do the rest of it. Just like that. So that one's fine there. Uh, we need a water bowser. We're only going to lease one of those. And that will allow us to move some stuff. And we also need a trailer as well. The trailer I would like to buy. What trailer are we going to use? Well, first up, let's go to the animals. And we will get our water tanker. We only need a small water tanker. Because we're only doing this once um, with the chickens. Although we could want to do the same with the pigs later on. Do I buy it or lease it? I'm going to lease this one. It's only 500 euros to lease. So it's very, very small quantities. And we don't need to worry about it at all after that. Uh, there's nothing else that I want to get there. Not in the slightest. There was a placeable that I wanted up here. Let's see if I've got it. It was a feed mixer. Have I actually got a feed mixer at the moment? I know that you can get pig f pig food mixers. I wasn't too worried about those. Oh, we we we've stopped and given up, have we? Uh, pig food mixers. I didn't care about those. It was uh, for pig a uh, cattle feed mixer. Uh, doesn't look like I've got one here. Because I didn't want to be. I mean, yeah, we've got the pecan. The the pecan mixer does work, but it's nice to be able to like take the trailers of bales and just dump them into a great big mixer. We did use it on the Gorala map in FS17. So something along those lines, like a stationary mixer, I want to be able to use one of them, I think. Um, although the Global Modding Company, wasn't there, isn't there something like that? Fermenting silo seed maker? No, there isn't. That's all we've got. We've got the fermenting silo. Turns it into silage, and then you get it, it can dump straight into the trailer. It's a really good machine, actually, that one. I like that one. Pallets. We are going to want a pallet. Um, those have changed again. They look different once again. Um, but it's not those that I want. It's the reusable egg pallet right there, 9,600 litres. I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go there, and I'm going to go with the large one like that. That's 350 euros, and I'm going to buy that reusable one like that there. And I also need something with a loader on it. So I'm. It's going to be. It's a straight choice between a wheel loader and a telehandler. And honestly, I think I would prefer to use a telehandler, something like that one there. We go with the Massey. Although I see, I like the man. I like both of these. There's not a lot to choose from between them. Let's just do this a minute, because he's... He's struggling a bit, isn't he? Let's go out to the outside edge of this field, and, and that one can carry on. And then I also need to go and get that lime going. And then once the lime is going, then I will buy the uh, telehandler. So yeah, well, I think we'll buy the telehandler. I'm sort of looking at it, and I'm very aware that our money has gone down quite considerably. We've got a lot of tractors... And I probably overspent on the tractors as well as the land, but I still think it was the right decision. Now, a lot of the grass that we've got lying around, I have been told that with course play, if I do one circle around the outside edge myself, course play will then recognize and do the rest of it, even though it's not technically marked out as a field. So that's one reason why I'm seriously considering getting course play anyway and adding it in. What are you doing? Oh, no, you are turning around. You are deciding to sort of straighten up fly right. That's good. Um, I'll lower that one down. Let's get you out to the field. So I could use course play to go and do a load of silaging. And then it should, as far as I know, we can, we can mow the grass. Then we can go around with a rake and we can rake the stuff up. And we can go around and bale it as well. Course play should... 
in theory, do all of those tasks. So, on that point, course play definitely does seem like a good option because then we can have more than one vehicle doing all of our grass cutting. I know that we've got a load of grass cutting down here that we're going to be doing, and we've got the class Zerian that will be set up and ready to go and do that, but we could go and get some more mowers and get some more stuff ready to do mowing uh, so that we can do more of that stuff still. We could we'd be able to then um, like go out to those fields over there, mow them, bale them up, and sell the silage bale, the resulting silage bales that we get off of them. And it's getting the silage bales and selling those that is the bit that interests me the most, because that's going to be a nice boost in income. If we can get that, that's going to make a significant difference to how everything works out later on in the year. Because, like, we've got 290,000 now. That's not a lot of money left. I need to... I do need to get something that we can use here. Hang on. Um... Telehandler's going to be the option, isn't it? And I don't want that one because I don't want the articulated. I don't particularly like those. So I'm going to go with that one there. We go to customize. Uh, wheels will just stay as they are. So we'll just go with a small one of these. That is 93,000 euros there. And then I will back up and back up. And I'll go into here. I'll go with telehandlers. I need a bucket and I also need a pallet fork difficult i can't carry them both back so i'm just gonna buy the pallet fork for a minute and we'll worry about the other one later um so i'll get you i've already got the pallet the only other thing i need is a trailer so let's go to there back up this way and i want a small trailer for working around the yard for like tipping stuff out so it's either got to be that one there, which is a 10,000 litre capacity, which would actually be fine. I don't need anything bigger than that. Or we got this one over here, 21,000 litres. Honestly, I think that would be our better choice. So I'm going to get that trailer there. And the colour... We've got these colours that we can go with. I don't like the white. Um, the brown does actually work quite well with that, but... Hmm... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the brown, I think, on that one. And then design. Oh, I see. Right, you've got white on those, or you've got uh, just brown in behind them. So I'm just going to stick with that like that. And wheel setup is standard white tires anyway. And I'm going to buy that one. So I'm not least. You know, I am. I know I'm buying a lot. I'm not leasing very much in the way of vehicles at the moment, but that's because I don't want high leasing costs. I know that we've had issues with high leasing costs before, and I'd rather avoid that if possible. Now, we are almost certainly going to have to nurse this one through. Because he's going to go all the way down there, and then he's going to stop, and he's going to say, Hired help cannot compute. So we will just follow that one down there. As soon as he reaches his does not compute stage, like that, we can then back up a bit and we can get it to compute over this side. So let's spin you around like that. Take you back up there, which is... That's roughly where I want to be going with it, I think. Something along those lines. Maybe over this way a little tiny bit. I'm quite sure, to be honest. It's quite slow going up that hill. Eh? It really does have to pull. I mean, this this is a 500 horsepower tractor. We're struggling to get that. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.